Afternoon, everybody. All right, so uh, we'll review this game first. The Seattle-Dallas game's going on now because of ESPN's triple header, which delays puck drop, and I, I don't understand, and then you don't you miss the start of the game anyways. Uh, anyway, uh, spend some time with the radio. But, uh, yeah, triple header today, so be interesting to see when I can record the second review today. But let's get into this one. Uh, it's Sorokin versus Shesterkin in this game. Uh, Zibanejad has a rush chance that's kicked aside. Horvat fires one wide. Good early flow to this game. It did slow down, though. Shots are 4 nothing for the Rangers at two and a half minutes. Schneider has a shot that's blocked. The Rangers press. Zibanejad has a net feed that's picked off. Uh, Rangers press at four minutes. There's a near miss for Lafreniere. Uh, Fashing steals one. The Islanders press briefly. Uh, there's MVP chance for Panarin uh, at that stage. Teams exchange rushes. Paul Mary has a shot that's kicked aside. Fox is denied. Horvat has a rush chance that saved. The Islanders press at the half. Igor holds on there to stop that. Uh, Sezikis can't bury one in close. We get some chance for Igor. Uh, Islanders press. A chaos at the Rangers net. Romanov fires one wide. They can't take advantage of just basically a dog pile at the Rangers net. Uh, the Rangers have a two on one that miss fires. The momentum, it felt like it shifted to the Islanders at this point. The shots are 9 7 Islanders with eight minutes left. Pressed by the Rangers with seven and a half minutes left. The Rangers end up drawing a power play. There's an early clear. Uh, the Rangers cycle. Panarin has a shot this block. Net feed to Kreider near miss. That power play's killed off. That was the only power play the Rangers had today. Uh, near miss for Trocek after that's done. Horvat has a one-timer that's held. The Islanders press with four minutes left. They draw a power play with 313 left. The Islanders cycle. They're forced out to center ice. There's a shorthand of rush by Kreider. He fires one high. That power play's killed off. Honestly, the Islanders' power play today hurt them more than it helped them. So Benajad has a last-minute chance. That's held with 28.4 seconds left. An ozone penalty by Kako. Uh, and it's a four-minute high stick. The Islanders aren't able to set up, though, before the period's done. So that power play rolls over into the second period. Horvat misses one wide. The Rangers block. They clear. Uh, there's a shorthanded chance for Fox. He fires that one wide. The Rangers then control it for a bit. Rag the puck a little. Uh, the Rangers clear again. Pretty aggressive penalty kill. Uh, there's a shorthanded break for Lindgren. He fires wide on that. Pajot has a slot shot. That's held. Things are kind of pushy. Uh, Lindgren then with a, a cross check. They called it boarding because he saw the numbers and all that. So it's boarding. Makes it 5 on 3 for 13 seconds. The Islanders call a timeout before that gets started. Still doesn't, doesn't help them a lot. Uh, the Islanders cycle. Nelson's denied. Puck's cleared. Uh, Horvat misses one wide. There's a shorthanded rush. And Braden Schneider buries his own rebound. Uh, Zibanejad and Kreider with the assists at 433. That makes it one nothing for the Rangers. Uh, the Rangers then prevent a setup. They clear it twice. And then Engvall scores. So it looks like it's tied on the power play. But they challenge it for offside. And yep, no goal. Uh, the Rangers then finished the kill because there was only nine seconds left in it on that zone entry. The Islanders press at seven minutes. There's a near miss for Horvat. Puck's cleared out. Uh, Cooley then with a near miss as the Rangers get some pressure. Engvall has a chance. That's held. His next chance is saved as well. He was the one that had the goal taken away for the offside, so he's trying to get that back. Trocek has a sharp angle shot that saved the Islanders rush and... Uh, Nelson banks one in off of Igor's skate from behind the goal line, right off the blade and in. Uh, Paul Mary and Fashing with the assists at 11.42. Uh, Lindgren then has a net feed that's held. The shots are 7-6 to six for the Rangers with six and a half minutes left. There's a glove save on Riley. Uh, the Rangers rush. Uh, VC looks to bank one in. The Islanders clear that out. Uh, Schneider has a screenshot that's held. The hitting's ramping up at this point. Uh, it was not a really heavy hitting game, but at certain points, usually when Rempe was on the ice, it definitely got going. Uh, Rangers press with three minutes left. Romanov to Pajo, that gets picked off. Horvat has a net feed, that's picked off as well. But at 19.32, so last minute of the second period, Nelson wires one from the left circle after a good forecheck by the Islanders set it up. And it was Fashing that was uh, forechecking there and got the puck turned over. Uh, he gets the first assist, Palmieri with the other. The Islanders with their first lead of the game. They're up 2-1. to one. We're going to the third. Uh, good early back and forth in the third. The Rangers press at a minute and a half. Kako has a tipped shot. That saved. Shots on net are only 2 nothing for the Rangers. Four minutes in. Panarin has a shot this block. Things are pushed on a hold by Sorokin. There was a lot of that. Uh, the Rangers press at five minutes. They're kept to the outside. And again, more pushing on the whistles. These teams don't like each other. There is still the chance these teams meet in the playoffs. And if they do, uh, that, that, could, that could be a fun series. 
Uh, shots are seven nothing Rangers at six and a half minutes. Fashing's robbed as the Islanders draw a power play. Uh, there's shorthanded offense for the Rangers. So every time the Rangers were shorthanded, it gave them new life. It was uh, crazy how often the Islanders' power play was in their own zone. Uh, Sorokin needing to hold on. Uh, the Islanders struggling to set up. They end up going offside on one of their zone entries. The Islanders cycle late. Um, Paul Mary uh, to Nelson. There's a near miss there. Power play's killed off. The only shots on that power play were actually by the Rangers, shorthanded. Uh, Pajot's denied. There's a near miss on his next chance. Uh, the Islanders better 5-on-5 five five than on the power play. I had to write that on the board. Um, I don't know if it's pressure or if it's just, you know, that Rangers penalty kill and the work they put in or what it is, but... Yeah, they were, they were having better chances. The Islanders were 5-on-5. Five five. Things get pushy and punchy on a hold by Sorokin. Uh, then we get a penalty shot for Pellick. That's saved. Um, I agree with the internet on this. Pellick's on a breakaway. Yeah, you can hook him, hold him, because odds are he's probably not going to score on that penalty shot. Uh, the Islanders then press with seven minutes left, but they're not getting a path to the net. Uh, the Rangers then press. Truba has a blast that's held. And then on the faceoff that follows at 15-43... Panarin puts one in on a nice uh, feed from Trocek, uh, ties the game at two. Uh, there was a post for Sezikis as the Islanders look to respond. Rangers fans looking kind of a little bit concerned there. The Rangers do press in the final minute. This was the 26th overtime game for the New York Islanders. And I've seen people saying, well, you know, the teams that win in regulation and, and the teams that get it done in regulation are definitely better set up for the playoffs than the teams that go to overtime all the time. I, I don't know. I don't know because teams that go to overtime all the time are used to close games, used to nail biters. And in the case of teams like the Islanders that are fighting to get into a playoff spot, it's been the playoffs for them for weeks. So they've been playing playoff hockey. So in the overtime, the Rangers control early. The Islanders block. The Rangers keep the puck, though. The Islanders set up. They cycle when they take over, but they can't get to the net either at that stage. Uh, then there's a blocker save on Riley, which uh, was the first shot of the period. Trocek misses an open net on a two-on-one rush. Palmieri's denied on a rush. Barzell's robbed. Igor holds with 6.9 seconds left to preserve uh, this game into a shootout. In the shootout, both Panarin and Trocek score. The Rangers win this one in said shootout by a score of 3-2. They go to 54-23-4 with the win. With the overtime loss, uh, the Islanders 37-27-16. and 16. But a very important point for the Islanders uh, to get that much closer to potentially uh, clinching a playoff spot. I think with just the one point, they're not able to actually clinch today, but they're they're close. Uh, shots on net, 13-11 Rangers in the first, 10-9 Rangers in the second, 20-11 Rangers in the third, and then 4-0 Islanders in the overtime. Final shots, 43-35 for the Rangers. Power plays, the Islanders 0 for 5, the Rangers 0 for 1. The hits, 25-18 for the Rangers. Sorokin saved 41 out of 43. Shesterkin saved 33 out of 35. Uh, kind of goalie matchup that we'd expected between these two teams we finally get. Um, I remember the first matchup I'd expected that. It was a 6-5 to five game. But at any rate, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. And see, Ranger fans, you had nothing to worry about. There's still a good chance they end up winning the President's Trophy. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.